What's good, y'all? Coach Les back in the biddy, man, with another edition of Ball Talk. Hey, today we still gonna continue on with the basics, man, but today we're gonna talk about splits, personnel, banjo, and switch call. This primarily for my DBs, so we could be able to elevate our game, take our game from here to here. We could be able to get these big D1 offers because we understand what we're doing out here. So, um, if, so splits, personnel, banjo, you're gonna you're gonna know all this into this one video, man. But if you haven't subscribed already, man, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, man, and hit that bell so you can be notified whenever I do drop a vid, so you can take your game to the next level. Let's get right into it, man. <clears throat> so we're gonna draw up a basic a basic formation so we can get the just the gist of what splits is. So we have uh we have our standard So we have our basic eye formation. So here in this particular instance, you know, we have the wide side of the field and we have we call this side the boundary side. So we are already gonna declare this is the boundary side. This is tight end. My X. This is my Z. So, <clears throat> in this particular instance, you have the boundary side. The boundary side, which is the short side of the field. So, if he's on the short side of the field, there's only really only two releases the receiver can give you. So, because out of bounds is right here. So, if that receiver give me an outside release, my I'm telling my corner straight up. Take him to his mama. <laughs> Let his mama babysit him for that play. Cause ain't no way in hell he should be able to give me an outside release and still beat me. Hell no, 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 no. That that ain't finna go down. That ain't that ain't what we do over here. We play physical ball over here. We play smart, fast, and physical. So ain't no way in hell he should be able to beat me outside. Get an outside release and beat me on the route. Oh nah. So take him to his mama on this route. But primarily, he only have he only have two releases that I could give you. In general, in, in in all in all, a receiver can only give you three releases: vertical, inside, outside. He's he can only give you three releases. In this particular case, because he's on the boundary side, he can only give you two: vertical and inside. So he give you an inside release. My corners. We play an inside shade. We shade in the inside. So if he give me a if he give me an inside release. We patient at the line, we here, we motor, we motor, and then we kick step to the inside, shoot that outside hand. Ain't no way in hell he should win the route. We should we should lock that up. It should be no fly zone from the moment that from the moment that he take off. The moment he at the line, he do all that. He do all that. We should be patient and then and then punch him in his mouth. Cause the, <laughs> we taking away the inside. Then he give me a vertical still, be patient at the line. We still here watching his waist. We still gonna we still gonna motor back. We gonna motor back and then whichever side he declare, we shoot whichever hand. He give me an outside release, we shoot that outside hand. He give me an inside release, we shoot the opposite hand. So if he come out, we motor back, we shoot our outside hand. He give me an inside release, we motor, kick step, and shoot that and shoot the opposite hand. So these are the little things that that receivers would do. This is playing splits to the boundary side. So we taking away the inside, we splitting his body. We splitting his body, we taking away the inside. That way he can only give me two, obviously he can only give me two releases. So that's playing it to the boundary side. So now if we play into the wide side of the field, you know, depends on the Z receiver, what type of receiver he is or whatever the case is, you know, he could be a speedy guy, he could be a possession receiver. He could be a, numer a numerous amount of things. So with this, we still shading the inside. Whether we playing off, if we playing off, we sitting at five to six. We playing off, sitting at five to six. So we here, we still shading the inside, cause we don't we, cause we don't get beat across our face. 
that's one thing we don't do. We don't get beat across our face. So if this guy pushed vertical, he can get in this particular case because he have all this, he got all this real estate, he got all this, he got all this. He can give you three releases. He can give you vertical inside, he can give you outside. So he can do these many things. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a clip in the video so you guys can understand and see see what I'm talking about as far as splits in this particular in in this particular case. Ramsey understand the game very well to be sitting on Brown outside shoulder, knowing his splits, how tight he is to the quarterback to flip his hips, drive and undercut the route. Man, that's art right there. That's a masterpiece. So if he push vertical, and I'm playing off, you know, I'm getting into my back hurdle. I open up. He give me a speed out. He give me an out route. Flip my hips. And if you and if you're a dog, you're a playmaker, you undercut the route, boom, book it. And 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 and, and we taking it to the crib, baby. We taking it to the crib. So that splits, that splits for you. So now we about to head on to personnel. It's simple, very simple. DBs, we should we should be booking everything, man. We, and once we understand what we're doing, we should book everything, man. Or or then uh, run through his motherfucking face. <laughs> it's that simple. We should book everything, especially we we playing smart, fast, and physical. Book everything, or we run through his motherfucker. Well, we could do both. If we, the more the merrier. That's what that's what's gonna get you them D one offers. Cause everybody wanna go D one, right? So you know you understand what you're doing. You know you take care of your grades in the classroom. You do all that you got to do on the field. Your GPA looking good. Your test scores is nice. You know, hey, you get that. You get the UMs. You get the Alabamas. You get the Florida States. You get the Jackson States. You get the Grambling States. You know. Gotta throw my HBCUs out there. Gotta show us some love, you know. You gotta come play for us, baby. But you know, per now we talking. Now we talking personnel. Okay. What I tell my DBs, what I tell my guys, you know, first thing you need to identify, what's your personnel? So in this particular case, with this formation, a lot of the teams will run this formation. You have 11 personnel. Why? Because remember, remember I mentioned in my last video, personnel is how many backs and how many tight ends is in the game. So you know you got one back, you got one tight end. So we got 11 personnel. So now out of this, you know, depending on, you know, the scheme and the grand scheme of things and how they offense run, you know, you, you, you got two options. Run the ball, especially depending on this back, what type of back he is and the down and distance, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, you have run the ball or they could throw it. If they got some dogs out there, a receiver, and they got a gangster at tight end, let's say they got a T-Guns or they got... Uh, uh, Travis Kels or Shannon Sharp or whatever the case, George Kittle. They can do numerous things be based on this formation and how the running back is. They could come out and throw the ball. They come out and run the ball. They could do the three things, just drop back, three-step drop back, five-step drop back, and deliver the ball, hand the ball off to that back, or they can be able to play action pass out of this. So this is one formation that you can identify Remember, this is 11 personnel, one back, one tight end. So now let me go with another formation. Go ahead, declare my X. Z, so, so now. So here we have 20 personnel. Reason being, you know, now we in a shotgun. So now you should be thinking, okay, pass, pass play because of being a shotgun. But remember, depending on your offense, depending on how they run, if they got a lightning and a thunder, you know, they can be able to do damage in the run game, especially, you know, if they, 
if they really like that. But for the most part, you should be thinking in your mind, pass play, pass play, because you have two backs, no tight ends. It's 20 personnel. It's 20, it's 20 personnel. So this formation, you know, you can you can get a lot out of this. There's there's a lot of things. So now we're gonna do one more for good measure so you guys can have a better understanding of what personnel is. You know, see here, in this particular instance, this is 22 personnel. Remember, like I mentioned in my last video, well, I, I'm not sure if I said it in my last video or not, but you can only have in seven, you can only have seven, seven men, seven down people on the line of scrimmage, seven people on, excuse me, seven people on the line of scrimmage, you can only have. So, this right here, Oh, excuse me, made a mistake, my bad. I put the X off and put the X on. Because we only have six. Oh, no, 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 I was, I was correct. I stand corrected. You know, play, players mess up. <laughs> but, you know, here you have 22 personnel. You have two backs, you have two tight ends. So, you have 22 personnel. So now this, in this particular case, you, you you should be thinking, check run, check run. Because of the formation, you have a lot of blockers that can be able to down block. He's going to down block, down block, down block. He's going to down block. He's going to take the mic or whatever backer. Down block, down block, excuse me. Down block, down block, down block. That can be able to open up the hole for, these, for this back to be able to get jiggy. So... This is 22 personnel. You should be thinking run, check, run, check, run, check, run. That, that should be your first tree, especially for my backers. Check, run in, in, in the first place. So this is the, this is how personnel. So hopefully you guys got a better gist of what personnel is. Remember, this is 22 personnel. The reason why, because you have two backs and two tight ends. So now we're going over to banjo slash switch call. First things first, first things first, what I like to tell my guys, especially on the defensive side of the ball, we have to, this is the biggest thing on defense. You have to communicate. Communicate, 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 communicate. I cannot stress that enough. I cannot stress that enough because communication is what allows you and propels you to get to where you need to go, to get that state ring, to go get that national championship, to go get the Super Bowl. Communication is key, especially on the defensive side of the ball, but not just in football, in life, period. For, for communication, being able to talk to someone and let them know whatever the issue is, whether it ain't even have to be an issue, but you just let them know that, hey, blah, 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 blah. And you know that's how that's how you grow together. You know, communication equals growth. So we're gonna put that here. Communication equals growth, because if we communicate, we're growing together. Not just on not just on the football field, but just in life in general. So, you know, the banjo switch call. Okay, so. So in this formation, you know, offense come out. So pretty, so pretty much banjo switch call is 
between my between my corner and safety. Let's just say I got some gangsters back there at, <laughs> at corner and safety. So I feel comfortable running running cover one. So in this particular situation, I got my corner and safety. So the, throughout preparation, you know, leading up into the week, leading up into the game, you know, we see on film that these guys, they, they run, they, they run right off each other's ass. So I'm watching film and I see it, so I'm going to alert my guys and let them know that, okay, here, so pretty much if I get this, I'm going to lean up into the game, I come here, they're tight. If they have that one to two yard split in between the two, I'm yelling, check banjo, check banjo, check banjo. Reason why? Because I can get, I can get this. I can get the wheel and I can get the post or I can get the slant. That way, we're not crossing over each other. We don't, we don't bump heads to each other. I'll also drop a video, a little clip in here to show you if we just communicate and we check banjo at the line, we don't have to run in between each other when they run these rug routes. At the Los, we should get a banjo call to prevent the pick play from happening. So, if I get a wheel and I get a post, my corner, he gonna take the wheel and this is leading into my safety. It's gonna lead into that safety. So, that is what switch calls. So you may get this. Like I mentioned, you may get the corner, you get the post. Why would it? It doesn't even make sense for my corner to follow that post, because that's gonna that's gonna make my that's gonna allow my safety to to he gotta do more than what he's even asked to do, because now he gotta fight over the corner and he gotta fight over the post just to get to this corner out. No, it makes it easier. Check switch, check switch, check switch. Get a switch call. My corner, take take the. My corner take the corner out, and my safety take the post. So now, they're working in sync with, with one another. They're working in sync. They don't have to bump heads with one another. So this is this is a banjo, this is a switch call. So th hopefully, th hopefully these tips, man, take your game to the next level, man. I hope to see you at the next level balling out and do what you need to do. Man, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, man. Drop your comments below and let me know what other tips you guys what the DB tips you, DB tips you guys want to want to see, and I'll be more than glad to <laughs> draw it up on the board, and then we go on from there. Coach West, I'm out.